Ladies and gentlemen, today we have another episode of the Fallout 76 Perk Guides. In this video, I would like to talk about all the perks you unlock when you reach level 50 in Fallout 76. Are they worth the wait? A waste of time? Useless? Let's find out. Before we go into today's video, if you would like to make my day and subscribe to the channel, that would be amazing. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to smash a like on it for me. That would be absolutely incredible. Now, let's go straight into the video, guys. Thank you for watching. To make things easy, I'm going to start with strength and move through each special attribute, discussing each of the level 50 perks you unlock in each category. So for the strength perk you unlock at level 50, we have Master Heavy Gunner. This perk has three ranks. Number one, non-explosive heavy guns do plus 10% damage. Rank number two does 15% damage. And rank number three does an additional 20% damage. To me, this perk isn't anything amazing, but I suppose the way Fallout 76 is set out with the loot you find at the appropriate levels, this perk seems arguably appropriate. I'm around level 30-ish now. Don't hear it. I just don't have the time to play it with work, life, and stuff like that, guys. With like all the editing I do, I don't actually get to play the game much. All my free time literally goes into editing, um, and it doesn't go much into actually playing, so don't hit me. But anyways, so far off the top of my head, I don't have a single heavy weapon yet. To anyone wondering which weapons are classed as a heavy weapon, the current weapons available are the 50 caliber machine gun, the flamer, gatling gun, harpoon gun, the light machine gun, broadsider, pyrolyzer, minigun and the junk jet. With the power these weapons have standardly, do you think unlocking this perk at level 50 really seems suitable? Drop a comment below guys, what do you think? Second perk category is Perception, which at level 50 you will unlock the perk Night Eyes. This perk only has one rank, however it does account for two perk card slots. This perk allows the user to gain night vision while sneaking between 6pm and 6am. I personally think this perk is really cool and I look forward to using it. Like, I have such a carry on right now with like lights and stuff when in dark areas. It's a right mess on. For me, it's definitely worth waiting for. Like I say, like, at the moment, I'm currently wandering around without the helmet for my power armor set. So I have no headlamp, which is very irritating at night. So I'd love to have this right now. The next perk category is endurance, and we have a brilliant perk for this one, guys. At level 50, you will unlock the perk called Life Giver. This perk provides the player with an additional 15 points of health at its base rank of level 1. The perk has another two ranks, which provide the user with an additional 15 additional health points per rank. Now, I don't care who do you think you are and whatever, but everyone could do with a little bit extra health in Fallout 76. If you come up against a Scorch Beast or something absolutely stupid like a Mega Sloth, you're going to need that extra bit of health. Next perk on the list is Charisma, and in Charisma there is a perk I briefly discussed in my previous video when showing how to get companions in Fallout 76. If you want to check that out, click on the link in the top right or check the description below. This perk is Wasteland Whisperer. This perk increases the chances of the user to pacify a creature below your level by 25% for each rank. When at rank 3, you can tame the creature and keep it at your camp. For me personally, I won't be getting this perk. The tame feature is really cool, but it's not anything really special. Like, it's alright. It's alright to have a little mess around if you get a bit bored and stuff. But personally, I'd rather use that perk point on something better. In the intelligent category, at level 50, you will unlock the perk Power User. This one is a must-have if you like to use power armor, as this perk makes fusion cores last 30% longer at rank 1. At rank 2, it lasts 60% longer, and at rank 3, it doubles the durability of the fusion core, making it last twice as long. In my opinion, I think this is an absolutely brilliant perk, which you definitely need to have, and definitely need to use if you love using power armor in Fallout 76. If you don't use power armor, obviously do not get this perk, whatever you do. Next category is agility, and in agility you will unlock the perk Gun Foo. 
Gunfu makes VATS swap targets on kills with plus 10% damage to your next target at rank 1, and then 20% on the next target at rank 2, and 30% on the third target at rank 3. It's extremely hard to describe how this one works, it's very confusing in the way you read it, but basically it's kind of like a knock-on effect, the damage keeps passing through and doing more as you go on to your next enemy. It's a hard one to describe, but sounds very interesting and definitely worth trying. What's your thoughts on this perk? Would you think it's definitely worth it? Do you understand exactly what it is that it's trying to uh, do and like what the purpose of the perk is? Now the final category for the perks in Fallout 76 is Luck. And at level 50 in the Luck category, you unlock Super Duper. This perk sounds really good and is on my must have list. At rank 1, Super Duper gives the player a 10% chance that when you craft an item, you will get double results. 20% at rank 2 and 30% at rank 3. So basically when crafting an item, i.e. a weapon or a stim pack, whatever, you have a chance now, like an additional chance on top of basically a 0% chance before, that you will unlock a second item as well. So if you go to create one stim pack, you may get two. Very, very useful in my opinion. So there are all of the seven perks you unlock at level 50 in Fallout 76. Let me know in the comments, guys, what your favourite is and which one you already have if you're already at level 50. Or maybe you're level 50 and you think they're all absolutely trash and you'd prefer to get others. Let me know in the comments, guys. I'd really love to know your opinions and thoughts on this. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, be sure to smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.